first Let's Play with The Sims 3. Uh, as you can see, I have The Sims 3 Seasons installed. Um, this Let's pay, Play will not be about Seasons, but will obviously include Seasons. I have all the expansion packs for The Sims 3, as well as stuff packs, except for Katy Perry's stuff pack. Um, I love Katy Perry, and I like her music and everything. I just haven't picked that one up yet, so keyword being yet. Anyways, have a lot of store content installed as well. Uh, I have a little bit of custom content and one uh, script I use for public showers. Um, I'll show you that when it gets to the little bit in screen. Um, about me, my name is Derek Renald, and I've been simming since 2000 and long before with SimCity. So I'm a big Maxis fan and I love everything they do. It's just awesome. And I really like EA. A lot of people don't, but I do. So, anyways, um, my machine is a 3.2 gigahertz Intel processor. Uh, it runs very quickly. I have a 9800 GTX video card, 512 meg of video RAM, uh, 12 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM on the motherboard, and a 3 terabyte hard drive. It's a custom machine. I use a LAN. Uh, I think it's called an Airland or something like that. It's a really cool case and has a lot of fans in it and runs very cool. So um, here's that script I run, public showers. Um, don't care how public showers and gyms work for Sims 3. So I, it's the only custom content I use pretty much other than a few things. Um, my current regular play I've been playing has been uh, the Tech Geeks in Twinbrook. This is how I save my game format, TB, name of the family, name of the town, and M for month, month one, D for day, D two, day two, into this Twinbrook session, and I use alternate saves ABC on up. The reason I do that, I learned early on with pretty much any video game to save off and save frequently, um, and don't save over your last save, so that's how I do it. Every day I have a new day, so you can see month one, day one, and I got up to F on alternates on that because I modified the town of Twinbrook. Um, the reason for this Let's Play is for this. Uh, as you can see, the name of the uh, town or city is New York City. The name of my family is McCall. Their month one, day two, alternate save D. Here's their home. And let's just go ahead and get into that. And while it's loading, I'll talk about it real quick. Um, yeah, this is a world created by Daniel. Um, that's the only na name I know him by. Uh, and a few others um, on his blog. I'll have links to that uh, in the below. You can see that. Um, so yeah, this is a very cool world. I, I love urban areas in The Sims and... You know, back in Night Life came out for The Sims 2. I was really excited about that. And, of course, Late Night for Sims 3. But they were kind of lacking in size. And this makes up for it in a, in a real-world setting. It's, it's just amazingly big, but yet not big enough to where you feel like your Sims are going to be traveling all day long. Um, of course, there's subways, so that makes for quick travel to get from the different boroughs. Um, Cross even into New Jersey, across the Hudson River, Manhattan, uh, the Bronx to the north. You got Harlem on the north end of Manhattan, uh, Queens, um, and of course Brooklyn. Uh, it goes down to Coney Island on the Atlantic shoreline, uh, and even goes out into the rural areas of Long Island. So very cool. So here we are in the in my apartment for my family, Becca McCall. Um, he's the second sim I created for this world, and his boyfriend, Jared Cormier. Um, my background story is there from Twinbrook. Um, they met there, possibly, you know, I don't know, who knows when they met. But anyways, they're young adults, so they met sometime there. Uh, but they were accepted, but they just wanted to start their careers in the big city, so they moved to New York City, and uh, this is their second day here. They rented this apartment in Brooklyn, and more on the apartment. Um, it's four rooms. You've got a bathroom with a stall shower, toilet, um, share the sink in the kitchen, got a stove, 
TV's kind of blocking it there. Got one counter and the refrigerator. Shared living area with the dining um, living area. I scooted Beckham over so every time he sits down he moves over here. It's kind of tight quarters to get in there. So oh, when they're watching TV together, who knows what else doing on the couch. They can both sit there. There's their diplomas from Twinbrook High School, I presume. Um, their bed, some flowers that Beckham gave uh, Jared when they first moved in. Um, I kind of modified, I left the apartment pretty much as is, but I modified this room, the layout, so I could maximize the use of the space by moving the bookshelf here. This was along this wall, so I moved it here in front of the window. Um, I added the clothes hamper so they could do laundry. I'll show you that late, a bit later. Beckham had a wish on the first day to get a uh, exercise machine because he is, let's cover their stats right now, he's Scorpio. Loves electronic music, dim sum, and spice brown is his favorite color. He has a good sense of humor. He's handy. He's athletic. Thus, he wanted that. He's a light sleeper, and he's a dog person. Um, he wants to go on a date with Jared and learn the athletic skill. His lifetime wish is to be the tinkerer. He's currently having a blast. He's fulfilled. He's comfy, and he's decorated. And yeah, just because of that little lamp right there, because that's the only decorations in here. Um, Jared, on the other hand, is also a Scorpio. He loves country music, loves ratatouille, and Irish green is his favorite color. I'm adding his background. His parents were originally from Cajun country in Louisiana, so that's why he kind of likes that ratatouille and all that stuff. He's a great kisser. Um, you know, his background's French, so that fits. Natural cook. It's kind of clumsy, though. He's a savvy sculptor, and he's e easily impressed. Uh, his lifetime wishes is to have golden tongue and golden fingers, uh, master the charisma and guitar skill. Um, wants to go on a date with Beckham, so that'll fulfill that wish together. Wants to improve his cooking skill, learn guitar. Apparently he wants to cook ratatouille eventually. Um, learn the guitar skill and woohoo in an elevator. That should be fun. Um, yeah, probably in a skyscraper somewhere. Who knows where. But anyways, we we'll, might get to that. Um, never seen it before, actually. Okay, let's uh, kind of angle up here and look at their entire apartment. We'll go to the top floor. It's typical brownstone, New York City style. Um, looks really nice. Um, top floor has an apartment in it, and this is kind of a split building, but it's one building, so there's presumably two apartments just kind of flip-flopped. Um, here's their apartment, same for this floor here on the other side of the wall. Entry level apartment on the, I guess this would be, you know, it's kind of below ground and above ground, so ground floor, entryway, um, and then you got the ground floor with the shared common area. It's a, in this case, a laundry, laundry area. Um, Beckham was just down here a couple hours ago before he got upstairs and ate something. Uh, he met Ivan Caps. Uh, they chatted while they did the laundry. Um, got to know each other a little bit, chatted about the apartment, enthused about that, and all that good stuff. Um, Ivan's been standing here reading a book ever since, so yeah, he's really into books, I guess. Um, here's their call box for the apartment building. Uh, the apartment mailbox. You know, I would really love to see, like, Apartment Life had a mailbox like that for Sims 2. That would be awesome, instead of just one tiny mailbox for eight apartments. And trash can. So that's pretty much it. The newspaper boy or girl, whatever, I think it's girl, she usually drops the newspaper for this apartment down in this area, so it's kind of on the way down. Um, multiple newspapers. I've never gotten more than two. Well, it's only been two days, so. Um, yeah, so very cool. Um, apartment building just got in the way across the street. Let's take a look at um, Brooklyn, then. This is the, obviously, the lower end of Brooklyn. Here's Coney Island. Um, it's obviously a park. It's really cool. We'll do more on that. I can show you that. They, the first day they were here, they wanted to see Coney Island, so the, the guys went down there and had fun. And uh, I'll show you that sometime. A um, couple rabbit holes, school, 
Mike's Corner Store, um, St. Elm's Bar, uh, apparently a hangout. Haven't been there yet. Uh, Queensbridge Recording Studios, not sure what that is. Um, here's a gym. Queen Marie uh, appears to be a, some kind of public park or something. I'm not sure. And then a rabbit hole for the budget books. Um, I'll show you more the next Let's Play. Let's get back to the guys and um, see what they're up to. Uh, again, uh, it's evening time. It's 8.52 p.m., so they're kind of wrapping up for the evening. Um, Jared just got home from work, so he's grabbing a quick bite. Got an autumn salad. Um, Beckham, he is currently, well, he needs to use the bathroom and take a shower. That's because he did a little workout. Um, yeah, so Jared's really hungry. Apparently he didn't eat at work. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, kind of fighting some allergies or something, so my voice is a little congested. So yeah, that's where they're at. Um, so we'll wrap it up here. They're just going to eat dinner. He's going to finish reading his book. I think he's reading something he's skilling up on. Cooking. Volume 1, Too Much Salt. So that's what Beckham is doing. Even though it's not a wish... You can see his skills here are kind of weak, so I thought I'd add cooking to it. Jared's already knows how to cook, knows charisma. Beckham knows logic and handiness for his career. He's in the military. I know it doesn't really fit his lifetime wish to be the tinkerer, but I can add that sometime. Maybe he'll retire and be the tinkerer. Um, Jared is in the music profession. I just chose the generic Sims 3 professions to keep it simple this time. So, yeah, here's New York City. More to come. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching, and uh, feel free to leave uh, constructive criticism below, and uh, I'd be happy to read the posts.